Hey, what up? It's your boy Drew. And I'm here at a local park because I want to show you guys what I mean when I talk about information flows downstream. And you'll need to understand what I'm talking about because I want to go into more what my take is on what post conspiracy is. And so my take on post conspiracy is that information flows downstream. And what I mean by that is this is a good analogy for it. So I think of it like this. The very top cup that the water co coalesces in, you could think of that as like Democrat, mainstream media, all the things that they push, right? The water represents the information that you have to sift through. So on the top level, it's nothing but uh, memorization and regurgitation of all the science books that they've assigned you, all the same books that we all read in school, like The Great Gatsby or whatever. It's all of the mainstream the media propaganda and everything else up there. And as you sift through that little bit of information up there, that water, as you start, if you start to sift through it, you will understand some of this stuff doesn't make sense and it seems defeating to your own self-interest. So as you begin to go through that information in that top cup there, you're gonna figure out, hey man, something seems wrong here and you're gonna keep digging and digging, most likely, and then you'll go down to the next layer of it. And you could think of that one as like, uh, conservative or Republican or something like that but you're figuring out something here on this mainstream is not right and then you go down to that next level now those people were originally had the same programming as everyone else and were on that top level of information that small pool of information most likely grew up with the public schooling system and all the democratic liberal views that they pushed there and they realized that was a trick and then they come down to the next level conservative Republican and that's where you got a lot of these people got stopped and tricked with Trump, for example. Because they escaped that first cup, you heard them say it yourself. If, if you're further along than them in your studies, then if you told them, hey, Trump's some kind of plant or something, they said, ah, oh, you're a liberal, you're a liberal. Because they, they're here, they were here, they got here, they think they can never be tricked again. They, they realize this is a trap here. They don't see all the rest of this below them at all. They don't see it. Because now they're stick sticking and sifting through that information in that, in that second cup, the second tier. They're easily corralled in that tier because of basic reverse psychology. The mainstream media was against Trump, so that's all they needed to know that he was good. They, they, they know this top cup's a lie, so now they come here and the second cup, anything that first cup says, automatically the reverse is the opposite is the truth, which is not necessarily true in all cases. So now you could say, you get down to the third layer. You get out of Democrat, Republican, and get out of that, and now there's a whole third, way bigger. Look at the, imagine the volume of the water. It's probably doubling or tripling each, each layer in those first two or three layers. And that's where what you'd call like the conspiracies, all that kind of stuff that's online, you know. And there's a huge amount of information to sift through. And it's enormous. Compared to that first holding pen thing, there's, you know, probably 10 times as much volume of water or information to sift through. So you got to go through all these information and get through it. Now here's where post-conspiracy, I feel like, is different than what a lot of these people online say. A lot of these people online have this outlook that they don't want you with your little cell phone to compete against the mainstream media or anything like that you're exposing the mainstream media uh, I, I think it could be couldn't be any further from the truth because I think they want you there they want all these offshoot conspiracies all these side chain conspiracies popping up and what, what happens actually with that with all the independent researchers and the YouTube and the it muddies the water and I in my opinion it makes that third layer e grow even more and bigger and bigger because now for example you got like Tartaria was a cool theory with the buildings and now more and more stuff's getting added into it and now it's like what do you believe because there's just so much added onto it now and that so I think they allow the pro proliferation of these conspiracy videos and everything like that to further muddy the waters to further confuse and to further increase the amount of information that you have to go through to get to your ultimate destination, which would be down here in this giant pool. So if you, if you 
imagine the volume of water in that bottom pool versus the top or any of those. It's probably triple all those three combined maybe. Using this as an analogy for understanding post-conspiracy, this bottom layer, that's you. There's no book you can read to tell you who you are, what works for you. There's nothing, there's no literature, there's no show, there's, there's nothing you can do other than know yourself and that's in here. And look at how much of that you have to go through. So they don't care where you're stuck anywhere in these different layers of understanding as long as you're stuck. And I think they don't even care if you get down to this bottom layer because most people might even get in this pool here and think, oh, this is it. You still got to sift through everything and figure out what's going on who you are for example there could be like some superfood that works for everyone and helps them lose weight and is great for their health and everything like that but to you personally if you eat it and you have digestive problems from it or anything like that then it's not for you right each person is a little different so what works for him might not work for you and now you're reading even down here, you're trying to become a better person. You're reading self-help gurus, books, and everything like that, right? And that guru isn't you and can't, they're not in your situation. You can only do what you can for your own situation and each person's different. So to add to the post-conspiracy there, I like to say everything happens by design. Meaning they, they want you, they, they, they gave you a platform to promote all these different conspiracies and everything else, right? Just so long as you, anything to prevent these people from knowing themselves. And in my opinion, this exploration of yourself is a lifelong journey, lifelong process. It will probably never end for anyone that's truly doing the work, right? Because there's just too much information going in there. There's just so much to sift through and no user manual on how you need to do it. I just want to do a little different type of video. I'm always getting stuck on the computer. I needed to get outside and it's a nice little place right by my house here. All kinds of flowers, nice little garden. But I would just suggest to everyone to, to get to know themselves, right? And know what works for you and what doesn't. Don't worry about what anyone else says, man. Because you can't. They're not living your experience. Coming up, I'll make a video explaining my take on what post-conspiracy is. But I think going forward, you'll hear me say this a lot. is information flows down, downstream, right? And that's why it's really hard for people that are into conspiracies because they got out of these first two, now they're on the third one. It's hard for them to understand. There's probably people that are no longer in, they jumped out of that pool. You have to physically jump out. I don't think you get pushed out. You got to jump out. So people have jumped out of that pool are pretty much done with conspiracies. You know, they're interesting. You're going to look at them only for like an entertainment value at this point. So when a person like me is telling these conspiracy minded people like, yeah, these certain conspiracies probably aren't true. Whatever the latest flavor of the Twitter conspiracy is for the day. They're used to bringing these conspiracies to people in these level one or two, right? People that have never even considered them. So it's really hard for them to understand. People that have looked into almost every conspiracy and probably at one point believed most conspiracies to now go to these people and try to say, hey man, this is what you're investing your time in probably isn't what you think it is you know it's not necessarily real in my opinion and just like the trump tard there said you're a hillary supporter if you didn't understand it you're on level three and now he's calling you a, a level one the trump tard here there's people down here trying to help these conspiracy people jump out abandon ship of the conspiracies and now these conspiracy people are like oh you're a paid shill you're cia or whatever the hell they're saying you are, you know? And a lot of people love to be stuck in this conspiracy thing because it's almost like it's, it is a never, never ending rabbit holes and they continue to generate new ones every, every few years, new gigantic ones, right? Right in, in this third line, lane here, you have everything from Flat Earth, Tartaria, Death Jab narrative, anything you can think of like that. 
So the next video I'll try to make will be a prepared video explaining my take on what post-conspiracy is and means. But I just want to have this video out there because going forward you'll hear me say that term a lot. Information flows downstream. And they know it. The controllers know it.